Let's talk about the weaning party. Oh, let's. Who has a weaning party? Oh, let's talk about the weaning party. <laughs> I'm thinking weaning. I'm thinking breasts. I'm not thinking I'm gonna see penises or a vagina there, but I saw both in the form of a stripper. <laughs> well, Emily sure had her field day with the guy. I mean, I've never seen Emily so involved and engaged with that paddle. There was a girl stripper that I can do with her when she sits on my lap. You guys were slapping the stripper girl. Like bad choices. <laughs> like the guy was getting no play. Oh, no. In the kitchen. No, the guy sits down and I'm like, oh, I, I don't do you. She's way more into her than you. And then she comes over to me and I'm like, move on. Yeah. No play with a boy. Everyone is in this girl. And then she comes yeah. over to me. <laughs> move you, on. It was really fun. And what were your expectations from the weaning party? I, I'm not having any more kids, and that was like a. That's this is like a big. I'm sorry. I need a moment. <sighs> well, she's been a mom for so long. I would. I would. I would have. Process, the up and down, I would know, have like, thirty kids if I could. Yeah. I why, would. Why, I, why is that? All I ever wanted in my entire life was to be a mom. I never wanted anything else. I never wanted to be a doctor or a lawyer. I just wanted to be a mom. And I wanted to be a really good one. And you are. You are. Thank you. Sweetie. I mean, honestly, her kids And that, are that weaning party amazing. was amazing. It was fun. It was a fun party. Yeah. But I think, and I actually felt bad about this because no one at that party realized what a big deal that was to me. No, I don't know if people really understood. I don't, no, I don't think anyone did. I, I don't think they did because I, I'm going to be honest with you and say I didn't. But I get what you're saying right now. I mean, that's like a huge thing to say. Yeah. I've been getting pregnant and trying to have babies for 20 years of my life, and now I'm not. I'm now I'm closing I'm shop. Out. Closing shop. Yeah. I'm out of embryos, and you right. don't start having embryos at right. 42. And so I had this party to like celebrate the end of it but I wasn't really celebrating not really I'm I'm shocked right now to see you cry but I get your emotion when we were all invited to this party it was more like woo no. sex gifts strippers and I'm so sad right now that I didn't that I wasn't able to capture that emotional part because I get it. It was one of the most emotional nights of my I life. I can't imagine. It was I so get it. hard for me. I didn't know. And I think that probably some of my other friends didn't know either. And I think that people might have come in there with a different attitude. And they would have come in there with more of a compassion for, wow. This is what you've done you know, for 20 flipping years. This is like a retirement party. <laughs> it's not like it's a wee party. It's a retirement it's... party from being a pregnant mom. A nursing. And that is emotional. So, you know, like a lot of people make fun of me on the season because I cry a lot. I nurse, I weaned my baby two weeks before filming. Okay, just so you know, nobody can be criticized for crying more than me. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm just gonna get up and hug you. Strong me. Get up around with me. <laughs> what is it in jail? <laughs> I love you guys. I love you guys. But no, that, that night was so hard for me. When Tamara said, oh, I got strippers, I was like, oh, it's that kind of party? And that's, cause I, dr I, I dressed like a stripper that night. I had, I had boots on and leather pants. So, I, I mean, I apologize. I wish I was there for you more, Thank you. sweetie. It was, it I was love a hard you. night for me. I'm so sorry. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Maybe we have another party for you, like mom, <laughs> pregnancy <laughs> retirement party. I'm so glad I got to do this with you. So it seems that when you met up with Tamara, more rumors came up. No. I heard her but talking it's out about of context. my mother. I heard her talking about my mother. And if you hear it in the real context, you're going to go, oops. I'm just getting knocked down from these women. If you want to be a part of that, I'm going to have to remove myself from you, Trace Amigas. 
I tried to sit down with Kelly, and she's like, Tam, I saw it. I pushed my mom down the stairs. No, actually, she was defending you, Kelly. You're going to see no, it. And that's true. You're going to see it. Yeah. But she wouldn't believe me. So what upset Kelly so much? I was having a conversation with Shannon, and she w I was saying, I felt like at the party, um, the tea party, I felt like you guys were really going after Kelly. Everybody had, like, two cents put in. I go, and it made me feel uncomfortable. That's why I got up and walked away. And she goes, I don't really think anybody was going after Kelly. And she goes, well, Bronwyn said this, and so-and-so said this, and then Vicky said she pushed the mom down the stairs. And some fan was filming, and they edited it. And then it just showed Tamara saying, she pushed your mom down the stairs. And I go, Kelly, that was edited. And that's Tamara true. was actually was. defending you, and she's like, I'm out. The way it was presented on social media was that I said that she pushed her mom down the stairs. I never said that. Vicky had said it at the table. I now talk that her, she pushed her mother down the stairs. The next thing I know, there's stories where it says, Tamara says that Kelly pushed her mom down the stairs, which that is not what happened. And Kelly went batshit crazy. And then she contacts someone that Tamara and I are in a lawsuit with saying, make me a character witness, a life altering, financially devastating lawsuit Kelly involves herself in. Yeah. Saying, make me a character witness. I'm on your side. When you're on a reality show, it's like, you're a bitch, you're a bitch. You know, okay, yeah, that's it. But when there is legal issues that are going on that involve dollars, I used to cry to Kelly on the phone and, and to Tamara. We both were hysterical to her multiple times talking about the devastation and she would say, oh, I can't believe this is happening to you. But as soon as she thinks someone's attacking her, and oh, by the way, it was erroneous, she contacts the person that's suing us, saying, make me a character witness? That's evil. Like, that is a, that is a boundary that I don't know that can be ever repaired. <laughs> stairs rumor come from? Um, so my mother lived with me since I moved to, Cal to Orange County. And so my brother got a job working out here. So she said, it's going to be for a little bit. Can he move in with you? We have a big house. I said, no, I don't want him moving in with me. But she talked me into it. And I said, yeah, certainly. So what happened was my best girlfriend, she's grown up with me. She's like my sister. Mm -hmm. She brings another guy in who's, who's gay. Mm -hmm. And Eric calls my mom and says, they're staying in your room. She was like, why are they staying in my room? I'm like, what's the big deal? You've known her your whole life. Like, she's like my sister. Her mom's not paid one, not one bill, not one bill, mm -hmm. ever. I mean, I bought our other house in Arizona. I bought it. My mother was telling sensitive information to my brother and then causing problems. Were they both living with you at yeah. that point? And neither one of them was paying for anything? Not one bill. So I felt a little bit ganged up on you know, and I think the demise of our relationship was I spoil her. I feel like I do so much for her, but they weren't reciprocating. Right. She wanted to be mad at me. She wanted to yell at me. She wanted to be in control. Mm -hmm. And I was, I had it. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was where it came to a head is you, you, you had and there a was friend no staying in her room. Was so yeah. <laughs> so Kelly threw her out. But, but there were no out. stairs. But there was no stairs. She just, the, just threw her out the door. I pushed her out the door. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't throw my mom. There was no stairs. <laughs> <laughs> it was just flat. It was just flat. It was just out the door. <laughs> Thanks for watching. To subscribe, click here. To watch more videos, click here.